Hi everybody, welcome to Northwood Farms Vlog. Something. <laughs> 130 something? Yeah, 130 something. Is it 130 something? something? Yes. And I'm Emma. I'm Kip. And this it, is Little Jax. Little Jax. And we're back home at Northwood. Yes. Northwood Sheridan. Awesome. <laughs> and so, anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about one of the topics. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> one of the topics, this is like a blooper reel. It's awesome. That was really big at the clinics this summer. Oh, yeah. Um, from Buck. And that was, and it's something that he and I had talked about a lot through the winter because it was like my big, huge realization um, when, I, when we still had the marshmallow. I don't know, maybe I even mentioned it. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, um, that... It was, you know, on my huge search for life in a horse, right, all last year, it came down to this realization that life is not speed. Because we kept talking about like, oh, I got to jump the horse out. If, if they're not walking long and lots of power, you know, jump them out. And yes, that's kind of part of the, that is, I mean, it's not that those words aren't right. Well, that's true, but it's not that it's the speed, it's the punctuality and the response. So, of course, Buck came up with a much better way to say it. Yes, exactly. And so that's what he was talking about this year, right. is that life is not speed. It is a punctual response to your request. Yep. So That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's a really good one to note because responsiveness is a big, important component of life. There's some other components as well. Um, uh, such as uh, peacefulness mm -hmm. and um, the one that I have been thinking about a lot with this one has been power. Oh yeah, the torque. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because that's a big component of life. Exactly. Okay, so you got to explain that too because there's Even a though... whole other aspect of that that if you don't have well, proper it... muscle torque Right. And that come that kind of we could we should talk a little bit more about that over time because it ties into this concept of the soft feel and how the soft feel has to go all the way to the hind leg because that is what gives you engagement. And yeah. if you don't have engagement, you don't have torque. And I'm I know I'm using that a little bit loosely, but what I mean is when they dig into the ground and they really push off like the the force between the ground and the horse is ex is is creating actual power that's right. why i'm, I'm well, saying torque, torque. Is, torque is good because it's like loading the spring right because you got to otherwise you're not going to get the proper life you which we've right talked response. about engagement right right so if the soft feel goes to the hind leg and it creates engagement, then we have torque and we have power. If we don't have power or engagement, then we are actually not going to end up with life. Right. And you'll end up with uh, compensations in other areas too. Oh yeah. So then that, good point, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because a funny thing that happened to me was when we went to the Ellensburg clinic, um, the last clinic of the summer, and I had to be climbing up, we all <laughs> had to be climbing up these bleachers, you know, so it was like, I don't know, I think it was two pretty decent sized flights of stairs. And what I realized after those four days was that my back had been kind of you know getting more sore over time and well I, you had sciatica before that and then after yes that. i mean this was this big topic over the summer right. like what <laughs> what are all the stretches we do for sciatica right. like so um it was a funny thing because i was like why does my back not hurt at all because i just thought it was just something you know that comes from being really active and and um riding a lot of horses and all that. Well, after those four days, I could tell every day my quads were sore. <laughs> and what I realized, seriously, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but over time, by accident, I had habituated my body to not use my quads. Right. <laughs> even though I run, even though I ride a lot of horses and we do a lot of barn chores and all that stuff, it I had just 
not... you were overcompensating in the other areas and you just screwed up your whole lower yes. back. And so we're thinking about this when it came to yeah. horses. Right. Because yeah, horses, depending on their lifestyle, depending on how they're ridden, depending on, you know, where they live or who knows how they come in and out of the pasture, they can accidentally develop muscle habits that, that could or could not serve them. Right. And then we're thinking of the extreme of that with this guy, because when we bought him, he was rain lame. Right. And uh, his weight was not on the back at all. Way too far on the front. (laughs) I mean, it was terrible, but, but over time, working the right muscles, working the right torque in the spring. And that was where, right. And that was where, um, it would, that was an obvious thing. Like, okay, the horse is lame. Like he looks lame because he has been taught to move in a certain way. So that was obvious. But how about all the other times when we spend a fortune on chiropractic and, and Mm -hmm. tons of other stuff for ourselves and for our horses where we've accidentally started to use a muscle group more. And then of course it kind of goes, you hit this point of, of no return where you don't even notice (laughs) anymore. So Anyway, the simple cure for me was to work my quads a little more. <laughs> but I, I was thinking about how that is just such an interesting phenomena with the horses. And, um, of course, that's what fantastic dressage is all about, is learning how to. we got to talk a little bit more about the biomechanics of that another time. <laughs> another time. Because that's yeah. like a whole other deal. I know. <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, that was my. That was an aha moment. It really was. It was definitely nice. Very nice. <laughs> Such a simple fix. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, now Good you're deal. doing your little stair climber. And... <laughs> I'm like, where are the stairs? No Come more on. problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Okay, that should be it for this week, though. That's all a right. Lot. Well, we hope everybody has an awesome week going forwards and that you're all enjoying the days that are slowly getting shorter all the time (laughs) still warm i don't care yeah and so um we'll talk to you guys later all right see you guys next time bye bye